If you name your favorite Fortnite player, there's a big chance that they use claw. Claw is the name for a type of hand placement where you hold a controller like this, leaving every single face button to be clicked by your index finger. It allows players to get really good at shooter games because their thumbs never leave the stick, so they're always ready to aim. I have never played claw before, but today that changes. Today I'm proving to you that learning claw is easy. So the checklist is simple. To officially be able to say I learned claw, I have to do a successful triple edit. I have to hit a clip on another player. And then finally, I have to win a game with more than five elims on claw. It's time to get started. So here's what I look like building on claw now. And here's what I look like building on claw after about an hour of practice. Still not great, but definitely better. The next thing I do when I'm learning something new is go into a peace control course. I turn on some music in my headphones and just grind. So this is what I look like now, and let's just spend a bunch of time in here. The binds that I'm using right now are actually mirrored. I literally copy everything from them. Like even my R1 is select, my L1 is reset. Actually, let's just go ahead and take a look at them. So these binds are almost identical to Miro's, but on his binds, he has an R3 crouch slide and an L3 switch mode. But all the rest of these binds are literally straight from Miro. The build controls are straight from Miro, and the edit controls are also straight from Miro. But let's get back to the grind. Yo, that was my first clean triple edit. That was first on the list. We can officially check off, do a successful triple edit. I've now been in this peace control course for like an hour and a half, maybe coming up on two hours, something in there, but I'm definitely seeing some big improvement. Get a lot more consistent with all my shots, all my edits. It's starting to come together. I'm starting to learn claw. These are what I need to be working on. These side jumps are still like pretty difficult for me. There's something weird about having to click X, especially when like sprinting, it kind of throwing me off. Starting to get better though. Dude, I kind of feel like I'm moving right now. Holy. Oh. I've officially ran through this entire thing. I think I've been in here for maybe like three hours. I think my next step is actually going into a free-for-all and trying claw against other real players now. Real quick though, I just want to see how my free building has improved. It's definitely improved. And look at that. I can do triple edits, side jumps, 90. Oh, this is crazy. Yo, that's my first ever kill on claw. Mm, there's two. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda doing a lot better than I thought I would. Oh, is that a clip? I don't think I'm gonna count that, but that was pretty close. Yo, my aim is actually good. Holy. Wait, there's no chance I won the free-for-all match, and this is my first round on claw. Wait, this is crazy. I think I'm something like three and a half hours into practice, and I think those peace control courses specifically helped me a ton. But it's pretty easy to practice when you're not under any pressure. The hard part is not panicking and clicking the wrong buttons when you're fighting against other real players like in this free-for-all map. Yo, No, I'm like kind of moving right now. Don't. Oh no. Do it. Faded. Of course you get it. Mm, bop. Yo, getting walls on claw. What a shot. Side jumps and edits. Really, bro? Oh, that's my clip. Objective number two on the list is done. That is 100% a clip. The only thing I have to do now is after I get done with this free for all, I have to go win a game with five Ela. This still seems super challenging, but right now I'm going like, kind of doing well. Oh my. I haven't 
playing these for like an hour and a half. I guess I can place this round. But it's officially been something like four and a half, maybe even coming up on five hours since I started playing Claw. I successfully did a triple edit. I hit a clip on another player. And now I have to go into a real game for the first time and get a five Elim win. Let's go. I thought because I sort of switched up the way I'm holding my triggers, I figured that was going to mess up my aim, but it really hasn't so far. Let's go. I did not know that guy was behind that rock. I'm trying to figure out why there's so many people over here. I'm sure you've already noticed, but I'm actually using the double claw grip. Some players like Reet and Day only play claw on the right side of their controller. But other players like Miro and Leshy will play that on both sides, which is double claw, which is what I'm using right now. What a clutch, holy. I actually have to focus so hard when I play Claw because it's hard to remember all the buttons that I need to click. So if I seem quiet during my fights, that's why. And I now have nine Elim. So for the rest of this game, I'm literally just gonna play as safe as I possibly can until there's only one person left. I have actually learned a lot about Claw while making this video. First of all, finding the correct grip for it was super hard and took me literally hours. I ended up watching a video from Phase Flea where it really clicked in my head with my wrist rotation, and it wasn't until that point my hands stopped hurting and I could easily click all of my buttons easily and comfortably. With this entire experience so far, I'll definitely say that learning paddles felt way more natural to me. However, I do think that in general, Claw is better between the two just because of how versatile it is. You can literally use Claw on any controller with the need for any extra accessories and you can click every single button plus with the way i'm holding it you're way faster doing stuff because your ring fingers are on the actual triggers with your middle fingers being on the bumpers so you basically have one finger designated to each bumper and trigger while most people only use their index fingers for both of those buttons which is a lot slower Let's go! No way I clutched it. Oh my god. That is a five kill win. This is my first actual game trying claw. That's insane. My over five hour creative grind session, a bunch of creative realistic fights, and then my first ever actual game right here. Hopefully this video makes you realize learning something like claw isn't that hard. You can get a really good start on it in just one day like I did today. Make sure to subscribe, check out some of my other videos, and thank you so much for watching.